Hey guys, Mars Singer here, bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video, and so now we are jumping in to do the second mission for the Metal Cooler Core Red Zone stage, which is Terrifying Conquerors. So this is the team that we are going to use. Um, should be fairly smooth sailing, I think. Um, obviously, even though he has type disadvantage, Piccolo Jr. can be incredible in this event. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump straight in. Um, possible liabilities will be like the Metal Cooler Core, but because we have type advantage in the first phase, um, I should say the LR Metal Cooler, right? The Because we have type advantage in the first phase, we shouldn't have any trouble here to like potentially die. And then if he gets killed against the Metal Cooler Core, then obviously ideally after that we just kind of keep need to keep him hidden. Um, but I think we should be okay. Because this gives us the ability to do... I probably do want to get more stacks for you. And the other cooler is in slot 7 actually. So it probably makes sense to do this. So let's do this. Do this. And then I like to get not the 18 key super for this cooler on the first turn. Just so you can get as many attacks as possible. Um, but yeah, so metal cooler is obviously going to be fine here. He does lower attack on... Um, his uh, 12 key as well. I was going to say, if we get an additional super, that would be helpful. But remember, the TUR cooler uh, lowers attack as well. We need him to get as many stacks before the core. That's why I kept him on rotation, because obviously we need him to super attack as many times as possible. Because even though he has type advantage in the second phase, um, he could still get hit by a super. Of course, he didn't get any additional supers here. So this will probably do some damage. Yeah, 362, okay. Okay. That's right, STR Cool are going to come in here, put some attack lowering on him. Wow, did he do one super attack? That's incredibly bad luck. We got Golden Freezer. No, yeah, Morning Sister Ningen, how's it going? Yeah, Easy A Cooler. Only getting the one super, that is really disappointing. But. Golden Freezer. I did forget I had all the intros turned on. And then in the first turn, I was like, okay, I haven't seen STR Final Form Coolers one for ages. So we'll let, we'll let that play out. <laughs> all right. No big bad bosses for you this turn, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I think this will be a decent enough setup here. Now, Raccoon and Guldo, because they don't have a Ginyu, they only have a chance to guard, but they're basically here for the second phase, right? So as long as they don't get completely destroyed here, then we should be good going forwards. Um, because we didn't get a lot of additional supers with our units that lower attack, though, that's the thing that I feel like could be a little bit of an issue here. Um, but I mean, look at Piccolo Jr. just doing Piccolo Jr. things. It's casually triple supering in slot one. He should take double digit damage now, right? Yeah. Yeah, he does. So loads more damage, loads more attack lowering. That's what we like to see. So these guys, I think even if they don't guard, as long as they don't get supered, they should be okay. Because the enemy's been attack lowered so much. And they lower attack as well. Yeah, so they didn't guard, but they take double digit damage. And then there's two dodges, so we take those. Alright, so this team does have a lot of healing. So we are in a pretty good spot here now. Um... 
Go ahead and do this. Do I want... Yeah, screw it. We'll just do that. And then we'll grab those for you. Because now we are basically back to full health. And Metal Cooler will give us a heal at the end of the turn as well. Oh, let's go. I haven't seen this for ages. Now, I want, I want Metal Cooler on rotation because, um, obviously, I want to use his revival if possible. And now that we're not going to get any more stacks with the... Uh, uh, the TUR cooler before the final phase. I don't mind floating him off here. That's a good thing about not being able to kill the Metal Cooler, core, uh, the Metal cooler army as well, as it means we're not going to be able to... And we won't ever be in a situation where the cooler at the end doesn't actually get to super. So... Although this, this RNG worries me for the last phase. Like, these uh, Final Form coolers not getting any additional super attacks is a little bit disappointing. Come on, at least one additional super. There we go. If you want to do the triple super turn, though, I'm uh, I'm definitely open to that. Hey, there you go, see? So we've got to give him a bit of positive reinforcement. And then triple super, so that helps us out for when he comes back now. Having a much better overall level of defense. LR Metal Cooler definitely can be a salesman, yeah, it's true. But we at least get the one revival out of him, and then we'll be able to float him off, so... Uh, I don't really, I don't really want to flow off Piccolo, but I will. So we'll do this, do this, do this. This freezer still has most of his damage reduction. This will probably still do damage, though. That's the thing. Yeah, two sixty-five. Though that's fine. We take that. And then he has a 9.4 million attack stat. I mean, that's pretty good. But yeah, this is where we need the LR cooler. He actually does need to come in clutch and get some additionals. Um, you can use the TUR Golden Freezer, the AGL one. Um, actually, wait. You can you? No, he's not banned from this red zone, is he? Um, it's the Red Ribbon Army one, right? Um, the only problem with using the TUR Golden Freezer is you do run into that situation where if you take a ton of damage in the turn before he's on the rotation, then he comes onto the next turn and has doesn't have his passive. So he, like even one normal attack will just kill him. Um, so you have to be very, very mindful about that. Um, but yeah, cooler getting the additional. So he takes double digits from the normals now. That's good. <laughs> yeah, the terrifying conqueror's mission for the core, and they didn't take away the attempts per day, so you get three attempts, and there's two missions because there's a powerful comeback one as well. So, yeah, for people who don't have stacked versions of these teams, it's definitely very frustrating, right? That they didn't remove the attempts restriction because you could quite easily just fail this mission attempt like three times, and then that just be it, right? It just be GG. Um. Okay, so. What's his defense? Uh, 400k. So I can either leave it like this. I don't know if Raccoon and Guldo will be fine in slot one there. That's the only problem. Because I was thinking I could do this and then Metal Cooler probably just dies. But then we get the revival so it doesn't really matter. I think I am going to do that, right? So we use the active skill first. Yeah, Golden Freezer definitely can start taking some damage once a few turns have passed. Like on this next upcoming rotation, if he takes a super, he would actually take quite a bit of damage. But yeah, we get a crit, we get a heal, back to full. Now, unfortunately, this cooler is sealed, so that really sucks. But not, re not really much we can do there. So we'll do this, and we'll do this. Now, it's very possible Metal Cooler just immediately gets killed. But he's only going to die if he gets supered. Which, actually, to be fair, he took less damage from the normals here than I thought. Because a lot of people downplay LR Metal Cooler now. But... You kind of want him to get supered, though, because I have a horrible fit. Oh, no. Because I have a horrible feeling Raccoon and Guldo, unless they get their dodges again... Um, they could be in a bad spot here. Very unfortunate for the STR Cooler getting sealed as well. Because he's getting a bunch of additionals here. But literally cannot super. So. 
But yeah, let's see what happens. If they get... I mean, my Raccoon and Gouldo are built for full dodge. But... We'll see how this plays out. Because we've got type advantage now. If they do get their guard to proc as well, that's still a little bit of reduced damage. Oh, and he didn't super again. Interesting. He's been paid off. <laughs> oh, he sealed Final Form Cooler again. Are you serious? Bro, come on. Oh, man. This is such an awkward turn now because of that. I mean... I could do this, I guess. But yeah, dude, that's so annoying. Um, sealing like my hardest hitting unit. This guy has does have a lot of defense. If he gets supered, though, I think... Do we die to a super? I think we do, right? Even though it's type, it's type advantage. Um, the thing is, like, I don't want to... With the limited runs per day, I don't want to die, right? So I might actually just use an item, to be honest. The missions aren't to use no items, so. And we could have a much worse attempt on, this, on the next attempt anyway if we just let it go, so I'm just going to do it. Missions aren't to use no items. The missions are to be here with a specific team, so that's what we're going to do, baby. <laughs> there we go. So now, because of the damage reduction that he still has, plus the Whis, uh Freezer won't take much damage from this at all. Yep. And there you go. Now, this is the thing, like I say, if they didn't limit the attempts so we could try this as many times as we wanted, then I would have risked it for the biscuit and gone for the no items attempt. But yeah, like after this, if we die, we'd have one more attempt and you could always get a bad like start where the wrong unit takes a super right at the beginning from the Metal Cooler army and we happen to die. And then that's it. That's all the attempts for the day gone. So... Like, at the end of the day, you absolutely could no item these uh, att attempts for these missions, but... Yeah, why why risk it when the attempts are limited, basically? But yeah, Mel uh, Final Form Cooler, getting all those normals in there, being sealed again. And then uh, Final Form, or Fourth Form Cooler here comes in for the KO. So there you go. Terrifying Conquerors versus the Mel Cooler Core. It's definitely doable without using items, but yeah, if they when their attempts are limited, I don't know why I would even bother to risk it, to be honest, right? Because I don't want to have to wait till tomorrow <laughs> to be able to do it. So I do think it is disappointing that they have done it like that, but what can you do, you know? So. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But yeah, there we go. Terrifying Conquerors. Interesting team. Um... Raccoon and Gordo managed to do okay, right? They dodged and never got supered at any point. So we absolutely take those. And there you go. That is the second and final mission done. In fact, let's go to the banner now that we've done the missions and gotten our tickets. Um, where is the Wicked Bloodline Red Zone one? There we go. SSR guaranteed. Oh, they're SSR guaranteed tickets as well. Okay. Well, let's see what we can get out of these. <laughs> I don't think there's anything from this banner that I can even actually pull that I need. But, you know, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take whatever we can get. Uh, oh, okay. It's not. They're not just all Wicked Bloodline ones. So, STR Demon King Piccolo. I mean, I guess at some point he'll get an easy A. So, having a spare SA5 copy is not the worst thing in the world. Would the daily limit be considered artificial difficulty? I mean, I think so, right? Or at least it's artificial difficulty to, like, the missions. I think my, one of the things we said many times... Wow, this old Vegeta. Good good job, Tickets. But yeah, one of the things we said many times in the past is once you've beaten the red zone stage once, then it should have unlimited attempts. But anyway, so there you go. That's the new missions for the Metal Cooler Core stage, both done. Powerful Comeback, Terrifying Conquerors. Let me know what team build you guys use down below for the Terrifying Conquerors mission. Uh, hopefully it goes okay and you manage to get them done in your three attempts. And yeah, we'll move on to some other ones next here on the stream. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.